Hi everybody, Ace of Hearts Fox here, and welcome to another Fursuit Friday video! In today's video, we are doing our first collab Fursuit Friday! Woo! Yay! Yay! Yeah, that voice that you hear right there, that is Clocky. Say hi, Clocky! Hi, Clocky! Okay, yeah, that, that, that works. Uh -huh. In today's video, since it's spooky season, ooh, ooh. ooh, we are going to be talking about 14 <laughs> werewolf facts, and Clocky and I each found seven, so we're going to try to outdo each other on our werewolf knowledge. So let's get spooky, and let's get started! Woo! Woo! Yay, spooky time! Spooky! Some werewolf tales date back to the beginning of written history. One of the earliest examples is the Greek myth of King Lycaon. There are many variants, but it was commonly said that Lycaon tried to trick Zeus into eating human flesh for some reason or another. The god, freaking Zeus, wasn't fooled, and in his rage transformed Lycaon into a wolf, which doesn't sound like that much of a punishment. Nah, I feel like that's uh, kind of what a lot of people want. I mean, you know, Zeus did some other other terrible stuff, but I'm not going to mention that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about Zeus. We don't talk about <laughs> nope. Zeus. Do not Google Zeus. Did you know that in 1999, 907 people in the United States insured themselves against turning into werewolves? Actually, that's really weird to think about, but kind of genius. Those darn insurance, insurance companies. Insurance companies capitalizing on furries and TF. <laughs> Hello, yes, I would like to buy some TF insurance. Yes, yes, whatever you say, give Excellent. me your money. Excellent. Yes, Planet. thank you. Before the science we have today, werewolf legends have been used to explain conditions like rabies and hypertrichosis. Being a doctor back then must have been pretty straightforward if all of your patients were werewolves. Or spooky. Uh-huh. Next on our list, in the 20th century, wolf attacks on humans were occasional, but still a very widespread fear in Europe. Some scholars suggest that it was inevitable that dangerous predatory animals would just make their way into folklore. In countries where wolves could not be found, people still linked dangerous wildlife to the idea of shapeshifting. Some examples include the were-puma in South America, the were-tiger in Asia, and the were-hyena in Africa. I think you forgot the were-bears, oh my. But were-tigers and were-hyenas sound terrifying. Oh, objectively way more terrifying than a werewolf. Like, way more teeth, way stronger. And could you imagine a pack of werehyenas? Oh, no. no, thank you. Nope. Nope. They would be cackling as they descend upon you. That's Ooh, horrifying. Little eyes in the night. <laughs> you know what, Ace? Thank I Zeus. We only have werewolves to worry about. <laughs> Thank Zeus. According to lore, werewolves can be created in a variety of ways. Some say that lycanthropy is a cursed divine punishment or the result of deals with dark forces. Others suggest that werewolves can be born naturally, contract lycanthropy through the bite of another werewolf, or obtain their powers by wearing an enchanted wolf skin. One interesting and oddly specific idea entails drinking water from the footprints of a werewolf. <laughs> Which, why would you do that? to become a Why werewolf. Would you drink? <laughs> I mean, valid. <laughs> you know what? Like when I I first uh, heard about that, like uh, the first thought in my head was, you know, you could at least try it. And you know that someone has. <laughs> oh, someone absolutely has. <laughs> Common Turkic folklore has a different outlook on werewolves. Turkic Central Asian shamans who performed long and arduous rites would voluntarily be able to transform into the humanoid Kurtadam, literally meaning wolfman. Since the wolf was a Tometic ancestor animal of the Turkic people, they would be respectful to any shaman who took on that form. So, they're just a bunch of furries. I wouldn't be respectful only because of how jealous I would be. That's true. <laughs> That would, uh -huh. that would be the only form of disrespect. Darn you and your wolfy ways. Yes. Oh. 
Next on the list, in French folklore, the werewolf is called Loup Garou. France was particularly afflicted with reports of them in the 16th century, and there were many notable convictions and executions of Loup Garous. The next fact on our list is not so much a fact, but a debunking of another quote-unquote werewolf fact. Although modern folklore maintains that silver bullets are the weapon of choice for slaying a werewolf, the element for werewolf hunting throughout history has actually been quicksilver, the liquid form of mercury. So like, imagine paying a bunch of money for a bunch of silver bullets and then they just don't do anything other than werewolf. I had no idea that Evan Peters is the one true werewolf hunter. One true werewolf hunter. Thank you for your service, Evan Peters. Thank you, Evan Peters. Another fact! Uh, this is gonna be a lot, but it was a really fun rabbit hole to fall down. The Beast of Jebudan is the historical name associated with a mysterious man-eating beast that terrorized south-central France between 1764 and 1767. The Kingdom of France used a considerable amount of money and manpower to hunt the beast, including the resources of several nobles, soldiers, royal huntsmen, and civilians. A 1987 study estimated that there had been 210 attacks, resulting in 113 deaths and 49 injuries. 98 of the victims killed were partly eaten. Ew. Ew. <laughs> the beast was reported killed several times before the attacks finally stopped. I don't want to ruin the magic, but there are theories the beast was actually a lion, and thinking back, that makes a ton of sense. I don't think anyone in 1700s France knew what a lion was, except for a possible eccentric rich person that traded for a fancy new so pet. So it's just like a before times Tiger King? Oh, it's just no. the Tiger King situation. <laughs> this is just... 1700s French Lion King. Oh, wait. Oh, no. <laughs> but that does make more sense, actually, come to think of it. Remember one of our friends? They ended up encountering a lion, and it was really scary, and we thought about if you if you had no idea what that lion was, then it would be a monster. Uh -huh. Wait, should we talk about that? Can we that? talk about that? I don't see I why not, because like that was a funny oh, story. Oh, yeah, definitely. Talk can you tell that? Okay, so, uh, one of our friends is from Ohio. <laughs> And I guess one day he was just kind of like out in the forest and found a lion that was just kind of there. It was from an escaped rich person's mansion. Because of course it was. <laughs> because of course it was. So we, we solved the mystery of the beast of Jebudan, which by the way, I didn't know how yeah, to Yeah, we, we, we tried all these different pronunciations. None of them were that. <laughs> uh -huh. Thank you, Internet. Thanks, Internet. Anyway, moving yeah. on. <laughs> Marcellus Sedates, a physician born around the turn of the 2nd century in Asia Minor, wrote a medical poem that spanned 42 books. One of those fragments being called De Lycanthropia, which describes a werewolf festival in which men lose their minds to the werewolf madness. Oh, so you mean like a furry convention? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not all mythological werewolves were evil monsters. In Latvia and Lithuania, werewolves, referred to as vilkasis, were sometimes beneficial to humans, offering protection and occasionally bringing them treasure. Shiny. And what would a werewolf video be without talking about vampires a little bit? Did you know that items like holy water and crucifixes often used for repelling vampires do squat against werewolves? However, garlic supposedly works for repelling both. Other items such as wolf's bane, salt, and mistletoe are also effective at keeping the big owoos away. Bad news for anyone with a werewolf boyfriend. I guess you won't be able to kiss it under a mistletoe. Oh, that's kind of sad. Werewolf boyfriends can't do cute Christmas things. That is sad. I can't imagine a life without garlic. Oh, that is a sad existence. That's a very Aww. sad existence. I suddenly see the first downsides to being a werewolf boyfriend. So sad. <sighs> Thank <laughs> you.
And lastly, well, I mean, for me anyway, <laughs> but throughout history, people have tried to narrow down lists of symptoms to use in identifying a werewolf. Some of these traits include pacing around the room as the sun goes down, reddish and sharp nails, unusual strength, unibrows, and fatigue and mood swings around the time of full moons. Yeah, I've got none of those things. <laughs> And to top off our list today, we're going to be talking about a fact that people can't quite decide on. Even though Wolfsbane has been tied to werewolf lore throughout time, its role in the story has been relatively inconsistent. While lots of modern popular culture refers to it as a cure for lycanthropy, other ideas behind its use include preventing a werewolf from being able to detect you, or simply suppressing the transformation while the person has the herb in their possession. So I guess if there's any werewolves out there, please confirm what Wolfsbane does for us. Yeah, if you're a werewolf, leave a comment down below on what Wolfsbane actually does to you. If you are a werewolf, please leave a comment, in general. Yeah. I want to meet you. In general. Yeah. Uh-huh. So before we wrap up our video today, Clocky and I have a little debate to settle. Mm-hmm. We are going to be deciding who will take the grand prize of Best Werewolf. To clarify with everyone watching, neither of us know what the other person has picked, even though I'm a very predictable fox, so I'm pretty sure Clocky knows what I picked. But we are going to present our werewolves, and then we will debate and decide who is best werewolf. Also, if you have a werewolf that you really like from things, please leave a comment down below on who best werewolf is, or you can vote by commenting which of us is correct at the end of this debate. Anyways, werewolf debate 2020. Werewolf debate 2020. Werewolf debate. All right, well, to get started, I would like to present to you today, case in point, Van Helsing Wolf. <laughs> Van Helsing werewolves are the best werewolves movies tv video games all of them nothing on van helsing werewolves coolest transformation sequence plenty of detail on that for wonderful wonderful mix of all these different elements that is my opening statement on the defense of van helsing werewolves i just i just want to say that you are you are <laughs> so completely predictable <laughs> i mean <laughs> you you've talked about how much you love van helsing werewolves before <laughs> they're perfect they are i i'm not gonna argue perfect. van perfect. helsing werewolves are very good and and i mean that transformation sequence though like mm -hmm. come on like come on uh -huh. kiss. <laughs> top, top tier top tier like most of the time it turns into a shadow or there's some sort of off screen but they're like no we are going to make it crazy, and we are going to make it intense, and we are going to make it matter every time it happens. And honestly, I think I think a lot of people are going to agree with you because I mean you can't you can't really argue with that. Uh -huh. I mean, do you want to do you want to hear what my best werewolf is? Of course. You're going to hate me. Why? <laughs> 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 oh, I don't like that Fenico laugh. What are you doing? <laughs> oh no. The best werewolf of 2020. Well, not even of 2020, but you know, like that's just the year it is. <laughs> of uh, all time to settle werewolf debate 2020. Of all time. <laughs> yeah. Is none other <gasps> than Sonic the Werehog. <gasps> <gasps> oh, you were right. I do hate this decision. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? Success. A brilliant success. No. 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 <laughs> Sonic, you know what? <laughs> Werehog. Sonic. You hate me. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? I would say you're so predictable, but I totally didn't see that coming. But it is that is exactly what you <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Oh my god. Oh, this is actually going to be a very divisive sort of little <laughs> decision to make. I don't think people can choose between Sonic the Werehog and Van Helsing Wolf. Oh, that is difficult for so many different reasons. I mean, come on. 
Sonic the Werehog can defeat any like Van Helsing werewolf in a fight. Like, oh my god, he a big, big, strong boy. <laughs> yeah, but like Sonic doesn't like fight to kill. These guys are just werewolves. But then again, Sonic the Werehog's probably faster, huh? You're right, Ace. Sonic doesn't fight to kill. He uh -huh. fights for his friends. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hate this video. Are you gonna delete everything? <laughs> I hate this video. <laughs> he's not even a werewolf, and he's perfect. This is ridiculous. Uh-huh. <laughs> how, how, how is he both the best and worst werewolf? That's what ha. makes him the best. He is oh the my best god. and worst werewolf. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well... You guys decide. You guys decide. <laughs> you, you guys decide. Comment below if Van Helsing werewolf is better than Sonic the, the, the Werehog. <laughs> werehog. Werehog doesn't even sound good. It, it like rolls off the tongue weird. <laughs> werehog. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you. Thank you Thanks for, so much for watching. <laughs> ba ba Thank you so much for joining me, Clocky. You're welcome. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was gonna like just be like sort of surprised by like some werewolf things I was gonna read during this. I didn't think I didn't think it would come down to the werehog. <laughs> okay, well, thanks so much for watching everybody. Uh my name is Ace of Hearts Fox. And I am a trash panda. Yep. Uh-huh. And we hope you enjoyed this Fursuit Friday video, even if it was Werehog. Stay Werehog, everybody. Oh my god. Big thanks to my patrons! These, these guys scrolling <laughs> on the screen. I'll just like edit some Crush 40 esque music into the background. Oh my god, yes! There you go. Please, please support these people. They they keep me alive while 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 I'm going insane. <laughs> oh god. Werehog!